Hello everyone and welcome to part two of your first Hire P at Home lesson. In this session, we'll be focusing on the mental factor. By the end of this session, you'll be able to identify different mental factors that impact on your performance. You'll be able to describe how and when mental factors impact on your performance and explain why the mental factor can have a positive or negative impact on your performance. So firstly, to introduce you to the different mental sub-factors. These are motivation, concentration, decision-making, and mental toughness. Motivation is a willingness or desire to do something. For example, if it's a cold day and pouring with rain, performers may be less motivated to perform well under these challenging conditions. Below are different examples of how motivation can have an impact on performance and during the course of a PDP. Pause the video and read through these four examples. Concentration is the ability to remain focused on the task in hand without being distracted by external factors. There's a variety of different reasons why concentration is important during a performance. And also, concentration and focus is vital whilst completing a PDP. Pause the video now and read through the four examples that are provided below. Mental toughness is the ability to overcome obstacles, challenges and setbacks and perform at one's best when it really matters. Mental toughness is important in order to be able to bounce back from adversity or setbacks, coming back from going behind early in a particular game, and also being able to perform well when it really matters, such as at a vital stage towards the end of a performance. Pause the video and read the four examples provided as to how mental toughness can have an impact on performance and during the course of a PDP. Decision making is the ability to make appropriate choices that enable you to achieve a desired outcome. This is important in team games such as basketball or football where you may have to choose who to pass to and whether to shoot or pass yourself. Also in games such as badminton or tennis, you might decide what type of serve to use or where to aim for with your serve. Read the following two examples below to find out how decision making is also important during a PDP. Finally, we've got four tasks for you to complete via the Google form that's attached to this post. Task one, you have to identify all of the mental factors that appear on the list. Task two, you have to watch a video and identify what mental factors are being demonstrated during the course of that performance. Task three, in relation to an activity of your choice, you have to describe what would happen if a performer were to lose concentration. As this is a described question, we need you to give a really detailed account of what would happen, when would this happen within the activity, and what would the impact of that be. Task four. You have to explain how good decision making could have a positive impact on performance. To do this, we will use the three step process that was used in task one. Firstly, we will provide a specific, specific example of when a factor may occur in a specific sporting situation. Part two, you have to show how that factor would then have an impact on you in that situation. So if somebody made a good decision, what would the impact of that decision be within your activity? And in part three, you have to finish off by telling us how that positive decision had a positive impact on the outcome of that particular performance. 